Hi everyone! Today I'm going to talk about the new unit that we are going to launch soon. It is unit 4. Let's see what we are going to learn during this unit. Unit number 4 will contain two topics. Topic 8 and part of topic 7. Uh, I will talk about topic 8 first. Topic 8 is, is going to be about uh, I will say in general about geometry, uh, solving problems involving geometry. Okay, this is the list of topics uh, included in this uh, topic. We have a scale drawing. This is very important lesson. Uh, we need to work on them. I will talk about it later. These two topics, which is um, uh, draw geometrical figures and triangle given, draw them. Uh, we are going to talk about them as a general idea. Okay, then we are uh, going to learn um, solving problems using the relation between the angles. Th this is very important lesson also. Then uh, we have the circle. Of course, if I have a circle, uh, I need to solve uh, two things. Uh, circumference and uh, area. Uh, after that, uh, we are going to describe cross-section. Cross-section is very important also. After that, we came to two important lessons again. One about the surface area, the other about the volume. Okay. Uh, we will learn different types of, uh, of um, geometry. And uh, we will choose um, different type of uh, 3D shapes. In lesson one, as I said, we are going to solve uh, problems uh, including scale drawing. Okay, scale drawing something like that. Can you see this? This is a plan for uh, a kitchen, for example. How can I change uh, the distance or the dimension from the drawing to the real? How I can convert these uh, um, dimensions? Okay, we will use the assemble equation. This equation you already learned about um, in uh, the first semester. Okay, so this is an interesting lesson and it relates the real world with the math. Interesting. Uh, the other important lesson, which is uh, lesson four, which is the relation between angles. Um, you're gonna learn about three types of relations here. Uh, first of all, uh, the vertical angles, the complementary, and the supplementary angle. Of course, you will uh, focus also the concept of uh, adjacent angles. But these three relations is very important, so you can use them in solving. We will solve something like this uh, example. You have one uh, known angle, the others are unknown. How I can use these equations or these um, Informations and relations to construct an equation. After that, lesson five is talking about circumference. Okay, um, I need to uh, again either find the circumference or find the radius or the diameter uh, of the circle. Different type of questions with the same idea. Uh, Again, you have to remember that uh, the radius and the diameter. This is the diameter, this is the radius. Okay, so the radius is half the diameter. Then we'll start at uh, dash 6, which is the area of the uh, circle. Again, you are going to learn the rule for the area and how I can use that in solving uh, so many equations. These two lessons are connected to each other. Sometimes I uh, can give you one uh, question with, uh, yani you have to answer both of them together. This is the main rule for the area of the circle. Of course, in these two lessons, we are going to use y. Yeah, y is approximately 3.14 or 22 over 7, approximately, not exactly. Later, we'll start with 8-7, which is cross-section. Do you know what is a cross-section? Imagine that you have uh, a cake and you want to cut it. Okay, What is the shape that you are going to see after cutting and uh, looking ex 
exactly uh, or facing exactly the uh, shape something like that you can imagine it as cutting a paper or whatever uh, can you see this one I'm cutting after cutting what is the uh, image that I'm going to see this is also a very nice lesson we will talk about different type uh, of uh, 3d shapes and if I want to cut them either vertically or horizontally um, what can you see for example can you see this pyramid if I uh, have a cross section vertical cross section I can see here a triangle but if, if I do the same thing but with a horizontal uh, section I'm gonna see a, what a triangle or a square according to the proportion of the 3d shape okay these are some uh, examples later we will start lesson 8-8 which is solve problems involving surface area uh, because I have a 3d shape now I want to find the surface area okay which means the total areas of all the faces okay so I need to imagine that shape and start um, and count each first uh, face along okay if it is a cube if it's a cone if it's a cylinder whatever each one of them uh, need different equations you need to imagine in this um, lesson can you see for example this uh, 3d shape it consists of what two hexagons and uh, six uh, rectangles okay so each one is different than the other. We have common rules, but uh, still you need uh, to imagine it in your mind. Then we will come to the volume. I think this is easier. Uh, volumes, we also we have uh, rules for main uh, shapes. If it's uh, like a prism, okay? So basically you are going to say the area of the base times the height. Um, we have sometimes I have a composite figure which means it consists of two different um, figures or 3ds so you need to analyze that shape first you are going to do this alone and this alone then combine both volumes okay um, this is again it looks like uh, a prism because you have a base here then you can multiply it by the height These are some examples. Okay. Uh, to this part, we can say that we will finish topic A. Next, we are going to start with topic 7, which is probability. We are not going to take all the lessons. Uh, only we will focus on lesson number 1 and lesson number 2. Uh, they are talking about uh, likelihood and uh, theoretical probability. We want to understand the event. What does the event mean? Okay, this is the first lesson. Um, we have many examples. Um, you want to understand the concept of outcomes. What is the possible outcomes for any event? Okay. Uh, we are going to do a fractions or ratios for each outcome. Okay. This is also interesting lesson. Uh, the dice is very uh, common um, question for these. Okay, these are some samples. Of course, uh, the coin is also. This is a very important, uh, let's say, diagram. Okay, here you have uh, some events. I will call them certain events. Some of them I'm going to say they are impossible. Uh, I also have some likely and unlikely. We are going to focus on this uh, diagram in order to understand the types of um, events. Okay. Here we have uh, the same concept, but we can put it in a rule. Okay. Uh, the probability for or the theoretical probability for any event is the number of favorable outcomes over the total number of possible outcomes. 
this is the main idea we are uh, going to focus on.